Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my Fallout New Vegas Unique Armors and Apparel Guide. This guide is for the vanilla armors and apparel only and does not feature any of the DLC Unique Armors as I will be going over them and their weapons in their own respective video. As always, there are timestamps in the description if you wish to skip to a particular armor piece but without further ado, let's get into the video. First up is the All Purpose Science Suit. This is its own unique armor piece and can be found within the Followers Safe House. You can open the safe house after being given a key by Julie Farkas in the Old Mormon Fort after becoming idolised with the followers of the apocalypse. Head inside and inside a room with three beds will be the outfit sitting on the middle bed. The outfit has a DT of 13 and provides a bonus of 5 into science. Next up is Ambassador Crocker's suit. This is its own unique armour piece and is found on Ambassador Crocker within the NCR Embassy on the Strip. You can only get this armour piece by reverse pickpocketing or killing Ambassador Crocker. After he's killed, you can simply loot the outfit from his corpse. The armor has a DT of 1 and provides no other bonuses. Next up is Benny's suit. This is his own unique armor piece and is found on the person of Benny. You can get this by confronting Benny and either killing him at the tops or at the fort. The suit has a DT of 1 and provides a bonus of 5 into both barter and speech. Next up is the Boomer flight suit. This is a unique version of a Boomer jumpsuit and can be obtained at Nellis Air Force Base. There are two copies of this outfit. The first can be given to you by Pearl after completing the quest of Alare. You are a trusted friend of us all. The second can be found within the Nellis Array when completing the quest and misbehaving. This armor has the exact same stats as a Boomer jumpsuit, providing a DT of 6 and provides no other bonuses. Next up is Boone's Beret. This is a unique version of the first Recon Beret and is given to you by Boone during the quest One For My Baby. If Boone becomes your follower, you can simply take the beret from his inventory. Boone can be found at Novak within the mouth of the dinosaur during the night as he is a guard. Next up is the Bounty Hunter Duster. This is its own unique armor piece and can be found in multiple areas. There are three copies of this outfit that you can acquire. The first is worn by Caleb McCafferty. If you work for the Garrett Twins, you will be sent to kill Caleb. If you do, you can loot the armor piece from his corpse. The second is found on Beatrix Russell inside the old Mormon fort in Freeside. You can either kill her or reverse pickpocket her for the item. Be aware that if you recruit her for the Atomic Wrangler, she will switch to her prostitution outfit and the outfit will disappear. The final version is found on Red Lucy at the fort. She can either be killed or reverse pickpocketed for this outfit. If you have fun with Red Lucy, you can pickpocket the outfit from her inventory when she changes into her sleepwear. The outfit has a DR of 6 and provides a bonus of 1 into Charisma and 5 into Guns. Next is the Brotherhood Elder's Robe. This is its own unique armor piece and is found within the Brotherhood of Steel bunker at Hidden Valley. The outfit can be found on Elder McNamara or Elder Harden if you help him become Elder. The outfit can only be obtained by killing either Harden or McNamara or reverse pickpocketing the outfit from them. The outfit grants a DT of 1 and provides no other bonuses. This outfit will also disguise you as a member of the Brotherhood of Steel. Next up is Caesar's Armor. This is its own unique armor piece and can be found at the fort. Head into the fort and into Caesar's tent. The outfit can be found worn on Caesar. Caesar can be killed or reverse pickpocketed for this outfit. The outfit has a DT of 5 and grants a bonus of 5 into survival and speech. Additionally, this outfit will disguise you as a member of Caesar's legion. Next up is Caleb McCafferty's hat. This is a unique version of an old cowboy hat and can be found on Caleb McCafferty within the Atomic Wrangler at Freeside. If you help out the Garrett twins, they will ask you to kill Caleb on the strip. You can either kill him for the hat or convince him to give you his hat. The hat has a DT of 0 and provides no additional bonuses as it's considered a quest reward. Once you turn in the hat to the Garrett twins, you will lose access to this hat. Next is the Chinese Stealth Armor. This is its own unique armor piece and can be found within the office levels of Hoover Dam. Head into the office level and follow the corridor around until you come to a room with radioactive barrels. Inside some crates will be two suits of this armor. The outfit grants a DT of 12 and provides a bonus of 5 into sneak. When crouching down, the armor turns invisible, similar to using a stealth boy, however, it doesn't grant the same bonuses of a stealth boy. Next up is Eulogy Jones's hat. This is its own unique hat and can be found on Rotface just past the Freeside East Gate. Talk to Rotface and tip him 11 times and exit and re enter the area where he will then be wearing the hat. You can either reverse pickpocket or kill Rotface for the hat. The hat has a DR of 0, however, it provides a bonus of 1 into charisma. Next up is the Explorer's Gear. This is a unique version of a Merc Troublemaker outfit and can be found on Orion Moreno. He can be found in a house a little ways from the NCR Sharecropper farm. The outfit has an increase in DT from 1 to 8 as well as weighing less from 8 to 3. Next up is the Follower's Lab Coat. 
This is a unique version of a Followers Doctor's coat and is given to you by Julie Farkas at the Old Mormon Fort in Freeside. You will only be able to get this outfit after becoming idolised by the Followers. As a representative of the Followers, I present you with your very own lab coat. Wear it well, and may it aid our cause. In order to increase your reputation with the Followers, you can either provide medical aid to Julie Farkas or complete some of her missions. The outfit grants a DT of 0, however grants a bonus of 10 into both medicine and science. Next is the Ganon Family Tesla Armor. This is the unique version of Remnant's Power Armor and is given as one of two potential rewards for the quest Old Lang Sign. You will need to have Arcade Ganon as a follower from the Old Mormon Fort and once you gain enough history points he will ask you to help gather the Enclave Remnants. The Enclave did a lot of bad things. After gathering the Remnants by convincing Arcade to not fight in the battle at Hoover Dam he will give you the armor. I honestly didn't expect you to say that. When I talked to you about Daisy and the others, you seem to put a lot of value and loyalty to the past. Like I said, I needed to go do something. This is it. It belonged to my father. The armor has a decrease in DR from 28 to 26, as well as the helmet having a decrease in DR from 8 to 6. The helmet, however, has a higher armor health from 75 to 100. The armor also grants different bonuses than the Remnants version, providing a bonus of 10 into energy weapons, as well as 20 into rad resistance. The helmet also grants 5 into rad resistance, however comes at the cost of 1 into charisma. The armor has a decrease in weight from 45 to 35. Next is General Oliver's uniform and hat. This is its own unique outfit and is found on General Oliver during the final quest. You will only be able to acquire this outfit if you kill General Oliver for the Legion or kill him and his NCR soldiers when siding with Yes Man. The outfit has a DT of 0, however grants a bonus of 1 to Charisma as well as 20 points into AP. The hat also has a DT of 0, however grants a bonus of 1 into Perception. Next up is the Great Khan Armoured Leather Outfit. This is its own unique outfit and can be found within Red Rock Canyon. Head into the Longhouse and it can be found on Papa Khan. You can either reverse pickpockets or kill Papa Khan for this outfit. The outfit has a DT of 8, however provides no other bonuses. This outfit will also disguise you as a member of the Great Khans. Next up is Jessup's bandana. This is a unique version of a bandana and can be found on Jessup within the Great Khan hideout at Boulder City or Red Rock Canyon if left alive. You can either kill or reverse pickpocket Jessup for this item. The bandana has a DT of 0, however grants a bonus of 1 to perception. Next is the lab technician outfit. This is a unique version of a scientist outfit and is found within the Camp McCarran concourse. Head to the concourse and it can be found on Dr. Kemp. You can either reverse pickpocket or kill Dr. Kemp for this outfit. The outfit has a DR of 0, however grants a bonus of 5 into science. Next is the Legate Helmet. This is its own unique armour and can be found on Legate Lanius during the final mission when siding with the NCR, Yes Man or Mr House. The helmet has a DT of 4, however also does not provide any of her bonuses. This armour also does not disguise you as a member of Caesar's Legion, so you can wear the armour within NCR territory. Next up is the only unique eyewear called the Lucky Shades. These are a unique pair of sunglasses and can be found within the Caesar's Legion safe house. You can only gain access to the safe house after becoming liked or idolised by Caesar's Legion, where Lucius will give you the key to the safe house. The shades have no DT, however provide a bonus of 1 into luck as well as 2 into perception. Next up is Motor Runner's Helmet. This is a unique version of a Fiend Battle Helmet and can be found within Vault 3. Head into Vault 3 and head to the maintenance area where Motor Runner is located. You can either kill or reverse pickpocket motor runner for the item. Be aware that if you hand over the helmet to Colonel Shu at Camp McCarran, you will lose access to the helmet. The item has an increase in DT from 1 to 2 as well as having a decrease in weight from 1 to 0. The helmet also grants a bonus of 5 into melee weapons as well as 1 into perception. Next up is the Naughty Nightwear. This is a unique version of sleepwear and can be found at Mick and Ralph's in Freeside. The outfit can only be purchased from Mick. Like I always say, a polite society is an armed society. The outfit has a DT of 0, however grants a bonus of 10 into speech and 1 into luck. Next up is the party hat. This is its own unique item and can be found within the devil's throat. Head into the crater and within a destroyed blue truck will be a dead prospector who is wearing the hat. The hat has a DR of 1, however provides no additional bonuses. Next up is the police hat. This is its own unique item and can be found within Westside on the person of Dermot. You can either reverse pickpocket or kill Dermot for this hat. The hat has a DT of 0 and provides no additional bonuses. Next up is President Kimball's suit. This is his own unique outfit and can be found on President Kimball during the quest You'll Know When It Happens or Arizona Killer. The outfit can be obtained from Kimball if he dies during the quest You'll Know When It Happens or if you kill him during the quest Arizona Killer. The outfit has a DT of 0, however grants a bonus of 5 into speech. Next up is the Rebreather. 
This is its own unique item and can be given to you at Nellis Air Force Base. When completing the quest for Lare and raising the bomber out of Lake Mead, you can ask Jack for a way to breathe in the water where you can acquire the rebreather. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go, a new rebreather. The rebreather has a DR of 3 and has the unique ability of allowing you to breathe underwater. Next up is the regulator duster. This is its own unique armor and can be found on the lonesome drifter next to the El Dorado dry lake. You can either reverse pit pocket or kill the drifter for this outfit. If you complete the quest talent pool for Tommy Torini, he can be found at the Aces Theatre at the Tops Casino. The outfit has a DR of 0, however grants a bonus of 5 into guns. Next up is the Remnant's Power Armor. This is its own unique armor and is given as one of two potential rewards for the quest Old Lang Syne. You will need to have Arcade Ganon as a follower from the Old Mormon Fort and once you gain enough history points he will ask you to help gather the Enclave Remnants. The Enclave did a lot of bad things. After gathering the remnants, by deciding who you wish the remnants to side with at the Battle of Hoover Dam, you will either need to persuade one of the remnants to follow your plan or kill them to gain their suit of power armor. Then that's the plan. We're gonna have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. Since Whitman will be staying with the Vertibird, she's offered to give her old suit of power armor to you. There is also an additional suit of Remnant's Power Armor you can also find outside of this quest. The armor can be found within the unmarked location called the Deathclaw Promissory. Be aware that this location has around 36 Deathclaws within. The Remnant's Helmet can be found within the Silver Peak Mine. Continue through the mine until you come to a room with several Cazadors and a legendary Cazador. On the top level behind a fence will be the Helmet. The armor has a DT of 28 and provides a bonus of 1 into strength as well as 15 into rad resistance. The helmet has a DT of 8 and provides a bonus of 5 into rad resistance, however comes at the cost of 1 into charisma. Next is the Robco Jumpsuit. This is a unique version of a Repairman Jumpsuit and is found within Westside. Head into Westside and it can be found on Dermot. You can either reverse pit pocket or kill Dermot for this item. The outfit has a DR of 0, however grants a bonus of 5 into repair. Next is the Sheriff's Duster and Hat. This is a unique version of a regulator duster and can be found within Prim. Head into the Sheriff's office and next to the corpse of the Sheriff on the floor will be the duster and hat. Be aware that you will have to grab this outfit before completing the quest My Kind of Town. If you don't, the item will despawn from the game. The duster has a DR of 0, however grants a bonus of 5 into guns. The hat also has a DR of 0, however grants a bonus of 1 into perception. Next up is Sleepwear. This is its own unique armor piece and can be found within the Ultralux Casino on the Strip. Head into the casino and make your way to the penthouse suite. Head into the bathroom and in an open top bin will be the item. The armor has a DR of 0, however grants a bonus of 1 to charisma. Next up is the spacesuit and helmet. This is its own unique armor and can be found at the rep contest site. After helping or sabotaging Jason Bright and his followers rockets that they will board, you can either enter the basement and in a room observing the rockets it will be the outfit. The suit has a DT of 10 as well as providing a bonus of 14 to rad resistance. The helmet has a DT of 4 however provides no additional bonuses. Next up is the Suave Gambler Hat. This is a unique version of a fancy gambler outfit and can only be found if you have the Wild Wasteland trait picked. The hat can be found southeast of Good Springs. Within a refrigerator will be the hat. The hat has a DT of 0, however provides a bonus of 1 into perception. Next up is the Tuxedo Hat. This is its own unique item and can be found within the Ultralux Casino on the Strip. Head into the casino and it can be found worn on Mortimer. You can either reverse pickpocket or kill Mortimer for this item. The hat has a DT of 0, however it provides a bonus of 1 into perception. Next up is Vance's Lucky Hat. This is a unique version of a pre-war hat and can be found at the Winds Hideout. After finding out the location of the Winds from Prim Slim by passing a science check, you can either reverse pickpocket or kill Sammy for the item. The hat has a DT of 0, however it provides a bonus of 1 into perception. Next is Vicky's Bonnet. This is a unique version of a pre-war bonnet and can be found at the same location as Vance's Lucky Hat. You can either kill or reverse pickpocket Pauline for this item. The bonnet has a DT of 0, however it provides a bonus of 1 into perception. The final unique piece of armor is Viva Las Vegas. This is its own unique armor piece and is found within the King's School of Impersonation within Freeside. Head inside and it can be found on the King. You can either reverse pickpocket or kill the King for this outfit. The outfit grants a DT of 5, however grants no additional bonuses. And there we have all of the unique armors and apparel within Fallout New Vegas. I hope you found this video helpful and as always, thank you for watching.